Hello everyone. I'd like to show you today how to freeze some squash. Here's some big squash that we picked it from our garden this year. This year we got pretty good um, size of yellow squash. We usually get a good size of zucchini like these green ones. But thank God for the yellow squash that we got quite a few this year. So this is the biggest one we have. So what I'm going to do is, um, I was been uh, blanching them all the time, but um, this year I would like to just make some pieces and freeze it in a cookie sheet like this. So I prepared this um, cookie sheets with on top of uh, parchment paper. So I'm going to cut this yellow squash real quick. So all you have to do is um, cut this top part right here. I like to wear gloves in case uh, I always wash my hand but just today I'm wearing my gloves and working with the knife and stuff so it's better to wear some gloves just in case. Okay, so it has some seeds in it, but they're still good, not too hard to eat, so they're kind of soft now, so I'm going to keep those in there. So, here's the, this is the size, um... I'm looking for not too small not too big and so I can use I uh, can freeze them and when they're all freeze for like a couple hours so I'll take it out and um, put it in a freezer bag so I'm continuous continue cutting all these uh, squash and we'll come back Okay, so I'm done cutting my squash and this is what it looks like. These are the size I'm looking for. So I layering, this is the cookie sheet I told you that I'm going to use this and I put a parchment paper on top and here's what I did was just layer it down one single layer, not too close, not too right on top of each other like that. So when you freeze it, so you don't get all mixed together. So this is what I do, I'm just going to layer this down, I have, I wanted to show you so that's why I didn't finish it all the way. So here, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now you can do, put another parchment paper right on top. This. and you can layer another one more layer like this on top of the other yellow squash another layer I really love this squash this year I got it pretty good um, so far it's doing really good so I like this squash that I like to use it in my soup my salad my uh, any pasta this like or lasagna I'm vegetarian so I made it last time in family dinner um, lasagna and I add um, my yellow squash and zucchini and all the tomatoes from my garden and sauteed with um, onion and garlic and pasta sauce and it turned out really good I usually use like a mix um, those um, mix um, veggies that comes in a frozen bag but this year this time I use um, squash that I grew in my garden they're really yummy and this seeds are does not look like that hard like last year I had so I okay so seeds are not that hard so I like to keep it because they I grew in my own garden I don't like to throw away anything whatever you like to you know save it everything pretty much because it's so precious so 
So, okay, so this is uh, what it looks like. Here's the first layer in the bottom. And the second layer right on top. And all you do is just close this. Cover it up. And I put, I had small parchment paper right here. So I'm just going to close this. I'm going to show you, I'm going to pop it in the freezer. So, and next day, a couple hours, so it's um, minimum you can do, or you can do longer. I usually keep it all night, and I'll take it out tomorrow and show you when I do this, uh, when I um, put it in my Ziploc bag, and uh, I, that's how I store my zucchini. So... I'll come back and make the video again tomorrow when I put it in a Ziploc bag and show you what it looks like after it's all freeze. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to bag it all the squash that after you freeze it. So, in my last video I showed you how to freeze all your squash from your garden. So today, it was last night I did it, and I usually leave it on for all night, and I like to show you what it looks like. It's all nice and creased. When you take it out, it's like a little bit hard. It's like a rock. You can see that. What you do is just... I like to wear gloves, so just make sure I'm not, I wash my hand, but I always like to put a gloves on. So this is what it's look like. Okay, so it's very easy and simple. And this is a large uh, Ziploc bag I have. You always make sure you put today's date whenever you're going to freeze this. and put a yellow squash date so that way when you take it out from the freezer it's so easy to find if you have a date on. So all you do is just slowly pull this out. This is my top layer. Just use your hand and pull each out. And then just put all these in there. I'm actually chuckling, pickling myself because you know why am I taking too long to get this out? Put it in a bag because I think this gloves I put it on, one of them it's like backward. So, anyways, so I was like funny feeling when I'm trying to get it out. So this is my bottom layer. See how nice and hard it is? Beautiful. Put all in there. Here. You can also make a like a small batch at a time if you don't want to put all in one. But I'm just going to put this all in one today. And just one bag. I have other tray also, so that one will be my second bag. Okay, that's all. And then just 
get all these kind of air out. I'm going to get my handy straw. Just put all in there and, and suck all the air. Just like put right in the middle and squeeze the bag right here on the sides and just leave a little open right there. It looks like it's all sucked in all the air. So you can see when I'm holding backward all these squash not falling in the top part of this bag right here. So yep, that's all. Now you can just pop it up in your freezer and whenever you want it for your any vegetarian dish or any kind of dish you make. Like I usually use in my soup or my any lasagna or pasta salad or anything I would like to put in. Okay, so thanks for watching and hopefully you will like this uh, video and help you out. Okay, enjoy your day. Hello everyone. I would like to show you today that um, on my last video I freeze some uh, squash and tomorrow I'm gonna make the video how to take it out next day and put it in a Ziploc bag but um, I don't have any more room in my freezer to freeze it but I'm not I don't wanna wait till tomorrow to cut all my rest of my zucchini so my squash so I just cut them all up today and what I'm gonna do is just pop this up in a freezer bag like this so I don't have to get all the cutting board and knife out again tomorrow and wash them and reuse them and all that start all over again so you can just um, if you don't have a room in your freezer right away to freeze it so just cut all your zucchinis and all your squash and pop it up in the zipper bag and get as much as air you can get it out. You can. And you can use this. Um, you can see this. This says uh, coffee. Those when you stir the coffee, then you buy those little straw thing. That's what my husband got it for me. First, when I saw this, I was not happy about it. I wanted those um, thick uh, straws so I can put it in my Ziploc bag and suck all the air out. But he said this will work really good. But and he's right. This is actually work. This is tiny, thin, but they're strong enough that I can. Put it in the bag and suck all the air out. So you don't really need those um, big ones. That's what I thought I do need those. But he's tried. He's pretty smart. So here we go. So what you do is I seal all these, the side ones. And I put my straw right in the middle. And you squeeze both sides. And you suck the air in with your mouth. There you go. So they're like pretty much uh, quite a bit all the air out now. So I'm going to just keep it in my refrigerator right now and tomorrow when I get more room, when I take those other trays out, uh, freezer, 
whatever the squash I just freezed it and then I will do this one okay, so this is just easy as it you can do a lot of different things with that like you can freeze your chilies and um, your um, Swiss chard and all this stuff whatever you want to you can do that just this is really easy way to seal your bags you don't need to buy those fancy um, sealers that seals the bag and this works really good okay hope this helped for uh, this video okay thanks for watching